Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. I hope you guys are all doing well. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Keep in mind that the roles could be reversed when watching these readings. Please take a moment to read through the description box. Especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I'm not offering personal readings at this time. But don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Scorpio. What does my Scorpio collective need to know at this time, Spirit? Message for the Scorpio collective. Ace of Cups. So there's some, maybe some type of new beginning in love manifesting here. Temperance. It could be a, a reconciliation. Yeah. Or after a period of healing, new, new love is manifesting for you. Could be with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of Wands. Somebody that's... This looks like... Hold on. Ace of Cups. Mm, and you guys have no idea. You guys have no idea that this is manifesting for you. Or maybe your intuition is telling you that you feel like there's somebody new coming towards you or that there's a new beginning and love manifesting. Temperance. You have King of Swords here. Aries, Le I'm not Aries. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Four of Wands. Yeah, I see somebody coming towards you. So I see communication coming in. Somebody is wanting to settle down. They're wanting to offer you stability. They're wanting, they're thinking about marriage, family, six of wands. Somebody's trying to gain the confidence, I feel like, to come out of no contact with you. This is somebody that you have not been speaking to. I feel like you guys have maybe been laying low as well. Just maybe focused on yourselves, focused on, I feel like you guys have maybe had some success in some type of, uh, in some other area of your life for some of you. Three of pentacles in reverse. So what caused an ending to this relationship was that somebody was refusing to compromise with you. They were uh, refusing to meet you halfway. They were, re they were not being cooperative. And I feel like that caused an ending to this situation. They were unwilling to commit. They were being a player. They were very wishy-washy, in and out, unstable. Couldn't make up their mind about probably whether or not they wanted to be single or not. Single or in a relationship with you. They weren't taking any action. They were being very stagnant. And I feel like they, mm, I feel like they had the total package with you and they were not taking action on that. Yeah, they were not offering what they should have to you that they didn't. And I feel like somebody gave up on the situation, but they haven't moved on from it. Yeah, they're going to initiate communication with you again because they don't want you guys to be at odds. They don't want to be fighting with you. But I don't know if you guys are going to give this person another chance. All right. Tell me about the high priestess. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, ooh, hold up. What's that have to do with my Scorpios? All right. So, yeah, what you guys don't know is that there's like some type of long-term commitment that's manifesting for you that's going to make you very happy. All right. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Strength. Somebody's trying to have the courage, I feel like, to come in and have this with you, to have this new beginning in love with you. Where It's like you guys have been... You guys could have maybe gone through a traumatic love situation. You guys have been trying to build up your stamina and your strength to be open to that again. Open to a new beginning in love. Um, King of Swords, the death card. What about the death card? So somebody wants to communicate to you that they have put something from the, the past to an end. Yeah, like they, they want to put, I feel like something from the past was controlling them or had a hold over them, but they want to communicate to you that they have put an end to that or that that is over now. Temperance, 10 of wands. Okay. What does that have to do with temperance? Somebody's maybe put an end to something and they're healing. Yeah, they maybe had somebody around them that was very controlling. What about this Queen of Swords? Yeah, there was a third party here. I feel like you guys are probably going to be guarded towards this reconciliation as well. You're not going to feel like you can trust this person. Say more about the Three of Cups. Yeah, they do plan on having... They want to offer you something stable and long-term, but I feel like you guys are not going to be trusting of this person. You're not going to put all your eggs... You know, you're not going to completely just 
trust this person when they come in and i feel like it's the way that they're coming in too they're coming in very abruptly and very swiftly and they're like maybe wanting to, to progress things very quickly now and that's going to maybe give you guys some anxiety king of pentacles all right what's this have to do with my scorpios the hate they, they look they're looking at okay so this person's looking at things differently now since you walked away from them you walking away so for those of you that walked away from this person it like fixed this person's vision now they're looking at things differently and now they're wanting to offer you this commitment they're wanting to apologize to you they're wanting to have this new emotional beginning with you now yep if they had something toxic that they had in their life they're they're releasing that now because you walking away from them really like trigger this person to like it fix their vision that that's probably what i'm gonna name this reading you walking away fix this person's vision six of wands yeah it's like they're realizing that with you they could have victory they, they, they want to have this successful new beginning with you they're viewing you as the total package i've already heard that earlier in this reading this is somebody that you're in no contact with tell me about the eight of swords four of cups this person is afraid though that they're going to miss out on you they're going to miss an opportunity with you this person could also be not speaking to you at this time because they're afraid that you're going to reject them. The chariot. So I feel like they're wanting to move things very, very uh, along very quickly with you now because they don't want to miss out on you. Yeah, it's like this person's no longer confused anymore. Yeah, they're no longer confused that you and this that you guys could have long term happiness and fulfillment together, a family. Like they they couldn't see it in the past for whatever reason. All right. So let's see here. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I, uh, let's see here. Let's get some more clarity. The wheel. Okay. What about the wheel? I feel like things are about to start going in your favor. All right. So this was maybe somebody that friend zoned you or it was friends with benefits. Or maybe this person had a lot of toxic friends and people around them that they needed to let go. And I do feel like they're doing that now. Yeah. Somebody's like cleaning up their life. They're removing toxic people from their life. They're seeing people that they had around them for who they truly are. And they're cleaning up their life. This could be you guys as well. Tell me what this means for my Scorpios. Yeah. It's like. They were like, it was a very difficult experience with this person because they were a hot mess. They were just all over the place. It was very chaotic with them. You weren't happy in the situation. You felt like they were very like unstable. They felt like they were very irresponsible. They were reckless with you. All right, tell me about think, deep thinking. And it's like, you guys started second guessing yourself. Like you guys maybe thought that this was your person. And then like, you guys started going through it with this person. And you're just like, I don't know now. Like, I don't know if this is my person. You know what I mean? And I feel like that you guys started second guessing that. Like, can this person really bring me the happiness that I thought we could have together? Like, that you started, like, you thought this was like a one of a kind love. You thought this was your person. But then it's like, yeah, then you realize that you had to set boundaries with this person. You had to stand your ground with them. So I feel like a lot of you guys walked away from this person. Or this person that you're dealing with, they have a, a feminine around them that's very controlling that they need to set boundaries with. They need to stand their ground. Answers birth so yeah this person is going to want to try to resolve things and have a new beginning with you they feel like things are left open-ended between the two of you death what about death yeah look at this guys it's like the same message it is repeating they're putting an end to something from their past they were maybe just living in the past too much they're putting an end to that now they're going through a transformation or they're shedding something from their past because they feel this love with you learning they learned their lesson or they're i told you they're discovering the truth of something they're seeing like people that they had around them for their true selves and they're releasing those people now because they're realizing that those are not people that they should have around them i feel like this person's test was like removing themselves like moving on from something from their past healing from it taking the lesson from it and being able to move into the next phase of their life that was their lesson okay and i feel like they're finally learning that and now something is manifesting here if you guys have been trying to manifest something to occur between you and this person, I see that your manifestation is close. I feel like you guys are tired of being in limbo with this person. This person was like torn between two different people or two different paths. But that's coming to an end here. I feel like your it's your time is here, guys, or it's near. All right? For fulfillment and success, it's near. 
this cycle of being in limbo and not knowing where you and this person stand is coming to an end. But yeah, you guys do have unfinished business. There's been a lot of blockages and delays and obstacles. And I feel like you guys have actually been very patient with this person. And the biggest blockage has been that they've had a third party. They could have put you in a love triangle. They were in some type of karmic contract with a third party, like a, somebody else that they needed to complete before they could have this with you. Before they could make things official with you, they had to learn the lesson from this karmic situation and close out that cycle. But look at this, guys. They are going to come back and ask for a second chance here. They've been grieving over some type of past situation with a third party here. And I feel like that's coming to an end finally. And they're going to ask for another chance. Look at this. Karmic cycle. Like there's about to be a happy outcome. This person has been going through a karmic situation, karmic lessons, but I feel like they're finally learning the lesson and they, they're growing from it now. And now there's this happy outcome manifesting and they do feel very drawn to you. They feel this like magnetic connection. I feel like you and this person may be destined to have a child together. Obviously that's going to be dis different for all of you. Okay. Like, um, some of you, it depends on where you're at in your life. You know what I mean? But for those of you that are in that period of, you know, in the childbearing ages, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there is a, a, a destined child that you and this person are supposed to have together. It's like this person's realizing that they're supposed to be with you, that you're where they're supposed to be. And for some reason, I don't feel like this person could see that before. All right. So I do want to take a deeper look at this situation, guys. I want to see what the future holds, what, what you can expect this person, like the actions you can expect them to take towards you. Take a look at their feelings and intentions, etc. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I'm not offering personal readings at this time, guys. But don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. The links are in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you. Oh, I'll see you over in the extended reading. Bye.